Okay, so it's currently 5 a.m. Just landed in Nairobi. Um, sorry, I didn't like document any of like flying through Bangkok or um, like actually the actual like flight on Kenya Airways. Kenya Airways is pretty good. Um, yeah, but I spend most of the time just like editing the video and I'm about to release it now. So when I get off the plane, uh, hopefully Nairobi has some decent internet. I can uh, get that out, and then yeah, then it's a uh, three-hour wait and then connection to your final destination, Ghana, which is very exciting. Um, see you guys in the. So I'm at Nairobi Airport in Kenya, um, plane over there, and I can tell you the Wi-Fi here is awful, and that. I really wanted to upload my vlog so that you guys can see what happened in Hong Kong and how I kind of nearly missed my flight. Um, and that's not going to happen because if you look down here, you can see that it's uh, going to take three hours. Um, and yeah, I've only got like six minutes of Wi Fi to get you pay for it here, which is nuts. So, uh, this is not ideal. Alright, we're ready to board. Let's go. Accra, Ghana. Here we come. Okay, so just landed in Ghana. Um, it's lovely and warm. Um, yeah, beautiful country, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's a really yeah, beautiful day. And uh, But unfortunately, my bag got slightly broken in transit. So I'm just going to show you here. Yeah. So this is obviously not ideal. Um, I hope this is still filming. Yes, it is filming. Um, yeah, and so I've just met Stephen, who uh, worked at ICS Challenges when I was there, but he was in Kamasi and I was in Accra. Um, so we're going to hang out, catch up now, and I'm hopefully going to get this vlog uploaded. I tried in Nairobi and it was a nightmare, because they literally have zero internet. I mean, they don't even have Wi-Fi here, so it's not looking too good. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. I'll introduce you to Stephen later. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Loving the Ghana flag as well. Okay, so we're just uh, rocking up to the guest house um, that I'm going to be staying at pretty soon, which uh, is pretty sweet. So we're going to check out the accommodation, get my stuff like all my bags thrown in there, and then off to like probably get some nice Ghanaian food, which would be sweet. Um, yeah, so here we are arriving now. All right, thank you, Mr. Taxi Driver. Yeah. Have a lovely day. Yeah, and, uh, it's yeah. good. Bye. Some good banter, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, catch you soon, bro. So, yeah, just walking through the uh, Accra, uh, <laughs> the Accra streets, <laughs> finding the guest house. Okay. So, yeah. So, hey, I'm Steven, and <laughs> I'm in Ghana. Yeah, so Steven, like, picked me up from the airport, and, like, so, like, do you want to just tell people, like, you did ICS, didn't you? Challenges. Yeah, yeah. I did ICS, Cycle 5, and, you know, it was good. Yeah. And now we are here to do the real thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. What kind of business did you work on? Um, I did food, food and nutrition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's like similar to me because like, I worked with M Jap and we did fish, like smoked fish. Okay. Um, we also did. I did vegetarian foods. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Because it was quite interesting. Like the um, my guy met like Sam, like Samuel Bunya. Um, he uh, like would package this like fish up like, really hygienically, and obviously like the market, it's, it's not hygienic. Like there's flies everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it was a really good thing that he was doing, but it was just like more expensive than what people were used to. So yeah. Well, and that was doing, you know, the soya milk. Yeah. Uh, soya bean um, kebab and all yeah. that. I was doing many veggie stuff. Yeah. There was nothing, you know, meats or anything cholesterol about it. Doing the beefy stuff, you know, the fresh stuff, yeah, just to keep people healthy, exactly. That's so important. So, yeah, now we're gonna go to the mall, um, gonna try and upload this vlog finally. Like, it's been a long time coming, um, and then, yeah, we're gonna 
plan it, plan it out the next few three weeks and see like see what we can make happen, which would be really cool. Yeah. So yeah. catch you in a bit. Peace. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is like a Trotro, me and Steven are in Trotro. So this is like a mini bus, but uh, like Ghana style. Uh, so we have to dip it around quickly so you can see. Uh, that's the mate over there. Um, yeah, so basically we just like pick people up on route, get a shout out, and then uh, yeah, get on, get off. It's pretty nice, it's pretty simple. <laughs> okay, so we've come to the mall, and um, we've been here like 30 minutes, and it's on 12% upload. 12%. It's going to take a while. This whole vlogging thing is not ideal. So yeah, we, uh, we got a bit bored of uh, waiting in the mall for the internet, so we um, decided just to mess around in cars instead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, replace some batteries and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, Steven's dad owns like, um, is it like a car? What do you call it? Like a garage. A garage. Um, so there's loads of different cars here, and like, yeah, like it's mechanics really, like you fix cars, right? Yeah. 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 Mm. So. so yeah, messing around, fixing the cars up, learning quite a lot about. And getting our hands dirty. Yeah, I get my hands dirty. Not really. Nah. <laughs> so I wrote like an article, well, like a, a poem about a year ago, um, when I was last in Ghana about patience and how Ghana had taught me patience, and um, like. It's all gone full circle and again, something is testing my patience. So, as I said, like mentioned earlier, like we're in, <laughs> we're at uh, Stephen's like dad's like mechanic split, um, yeah, garage. And so the, firstly, the car had no car battery. Then we tried two car batteries, uh, like, and neither of them really worked. So we tried to got a third one from a different car, used that, put it in, works. And then we found out that, um, yeah, then we found out that the car had no petrol. So, like, Stevens basically had to, like, walk to the nearest petrol station and come back. Um, yeah, he did, said that I didn't have to come, I can look after the car. So I got the sweet job. I got it easy, basically, but, like, it's, like, unbelievable. I thought we were just, like, picking up a car, but actually, like, we've <laughs> been, like, changing car batteries and... Yeah, now like on the hunt for fuel and shit, so. Ooh. Yeah, not him. So, um, obviously, I've been like moaning about Wi Fi and stuff for ages, but the good news is, I basically had to put my, the, the, uh, like the video onto my phone and upload it via my phone through like 3G, and that has actually turned out to be sweet as. So, it's actually like 10% off uploading. We got it. Yep. Yeah. How far did you walk? Like half a mile. <laughs> Fuck. Not ideal. Okay, for initiative. So yeah, we just uh, saw a water bottle in half, and I think we're gonna eat. Now we're using a stick to um, prod it, uh -huh. prod into the uh, the petrol tank, and then yeah, just gonna gonna stick it right in there. Fingers crossed that works. Talk about ingenious. They said you really can't walk with me. Okay, good. Yeah. Where's your foot in your foot? Uh. Okay, it's all going very technical here. Yeah. Hey, please say this is going to work. Bye. Stuck. Yes, we have lift off. Social mercenary rucksack in the back, of course. Um, yeah, we pushed it about a kilometer and then it, it finally got working, so uh, sick all round basically. Oh, Benini! 